वेलकम बैक एवरी वन माई नेम इज इदनान चौधरी फ्रॉम वन शुड प्रोडक्शंस इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट ऑयल पेंटिंग वी विल टेक एन इमेज एंड वी विल एडिट इन इन ऑयल पेंट एंड वी विल फिनिश दिस वी विल रिटर्च दिस इमेज सो द थिंग वी हैव टू वी कैन से दैट फोकस इज दैट द फोटोशॉप सी सी टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन इन माई वर्जन इन माई लैपटॉप इट है we will use cs6 first for oil painting and then after that we will save the psd file from cc cs6 on our desktop and then we will import it in photoshop cc 2015 so it will not take so much time but it is bit a different thing so it will be very uh, enjoying thing so we will enjoy this tutorial so let's get started without wasting your time image which we are uh, going to use is that one pretty much awesome you can see that it is very detailed and looks cool perfect for our tutorial so let's get started let's take it in photoshop cs6 so point of note is that now i am using photoshop cs6 so we will create a copy of this and now we will go to filter and oil painting okay the settings are simple and awesome this is a detailed image so we have to focus on that the stylized should be minimum so it could be less uh, less curves so i have uh, recommend this setting only for this image so if you have uh, any other image with high definition so the settings may be bit different but uh it will be same uh, on all images i hope so so the settings are stylization is 3 cleanliness is 3 and the scale is also 3 and bristol bristol detail is 3 also so you can see that it is the detail of the brush so you can see that nice i will go for 10 okay so now the angular direction is 300 it's awesome you can see that it is the direction of your image or your brush so we will use 300 by default sorry 300 okay so the shine should be zero so we don't need to shine our brushes because it will uh, disturb our image so we will press zero nice you can see that closely okay so as you can see that we have applied our oil paint on this image okay so we can increase the scale size but it will uh change the setting so we will use 3 or we can say 4 pretty much nice okay so i hope you memorize these settings hit okay it will take a little time to apply okay so we can name this as oil paint a e or e ft effect okay so now we will save this in a psd file on our desktop so we will call as uh oil paint retouch okay so we will save this on desktop hit okay nice now we will close this up now uh, i will back with uh, after opening my photoshop cc welcome back everyone i have opened cs sorry cc 2015 so we will drag our project file directly into photoshop cc nice now we'll open this 
so the thing i have uh, to announce here is that if you have uh, oil paint in photoshop cc in your laptop i think uh, it's a uh, version difference so if you have uh, oil paint in your cs uh, cc 2015 you can easily go directly into your cc and go to your filter menu so you don't have to open cs6 because the menus are same and the settings are always same so let's start our work okay so first thing we have to th focus is that we have to uh, i can say that make a copy of every layer so i like make copy so if i have any mistakes so i can delete that layer and i will do again so go to filter and go to camera raw filter it is a little bit time consuming okay so we have in camera filter so go to before after great now we have to zoom in zoom in again so we can focus on our hairs don't be worried about lips and the eyes we will check them later so a little zoom out great now we can easily understand what going on here so this is the after uh, which we can apply our effect and this is the before which is without effect so we will increase the exposure we will increase the contrast and let's play with the settings no no don't be worried about that we will go to 8 shadows should be about like 715 and the whiteness should be increased not too much so we will go for 20 blackness is the key feature of our main effect so let's have a focus on blackness i think it's pretty much 35 nice clarity should be a little bit more like 20 or we can say 15 nice okay so now vibrance a little bit increased 10 and the situation also 3 nice now you can see that our settings before and after you can see that okay sorry zoom out zoom out nice okay so now we will go to our tone curves and we will increase the light a little bit and the darks so great let me check what's going on with hairs nice 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 good okay so shadows great now we'll go to our hs hsl grayscale so go to luminance and we will we don't need to make it more more whiter because it's enough for our work so now we will focus on our blue areas so let me go to the shirt and other designs so now it will reflect on these things nice oh not too much but a little bit more like this go to saturation and the same thing we will apply on that i think it's nice here plus 65 and plus 65 same and uh, okay so we will apply a effect on 2040 great it's pretty much nice don't be zooming again man sorry okay so nice great okay so pretty much natural now we will do something amazing final uh don't touch these settings but we will play with this no no don't be so 
nice okay so we will make it eight and nice good one okay so for the green color let's see what's going on with green color well very nice now hit ok for this time now you can see that it's pretty much nice but the eyes are pretty much you can say that different so what we have to do is we will create a copy of this and hide this also we will call this as oil paint raw means we have oil paint and then we have raw let's give it a backslash nice okay so here we have the genuine one and the second one but now what we have to do is we'll erase these eyes so we'll give it a uh, layer mask and zoom it in and go to our brush tool and select the black brush the uh, hardness is zero percent let's increase a little bit more so 82 now it is these eyes only don't be worried about that we will fix these eyes again in camera raw filter so just try to fix them nice okay so hide this up now you can see that easily now same thing will apply on this very nice now the same thing will apply on lips but for the lips we will use soft brush as much as it can be so we'll use 0% transparency and erase the lips with the teeth also you can see that it looks very different but don't be worried about that we will fix this very awesome great now let me check what we have done great okay so here we have the brush and the eyes now what we have to do is we will hide this layer and we will copy this background layer and now we'll go to filter go to camera raw filter okay so now we will expose this up let's focus on eyes nice uh, a little bit zoom out nice now we can easily tolerate these things so no, no don't 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 too much so highlight and shadows and whiteness and blackness and clarity should be 15 13 increase the lips we have to focus on lips so we'll go to our uh, you can say that hsl grayscale so we can here we fix our lips no no increase the pinkish color same thing increase this it is decreasing let's increase this a little bit more now same thing increase this up nice uh, great very nice okay so don't worry about anything other so let's focus on yes great now hit ok now turn on your lips and see it is looks great but we can see that it is pretty much more the lips so what we will do is apply a another camera filter effect which one is the 
heat temperature so increase the temperature from 5 plus 5 hit ok now it perfect now same thing we'll apply on our main image so go to filter now we will apply same effect on our final layer which is temperature temperature and go to 5 here ok now you can see that pretty much awesome and really really great effect okay so a little bit more thing I want to add is that let's play and give it some reflection so I will use the uh, the tool name is sorry I forgot it's a polygon polygonal lasso tool and we will select this and from this frame and simply go to the and select the area great we have created a new layer we will fill this as press control plus backspace press control D to deselect that and less it's now we will create a layer mask and press G from our keyboard and we have black to foreground to background let's no 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 sorry, sorry. I think it's should be like this or like this no it should be like this nice yes it's a sign of great now same thing will apply on our second mirror so but a little bit more smaller you can apply or not it's all depend on you okay so create a new layer again press all plus control plus backspace press control D to deselect that now again we will go to press G from our keyboard and then we will create a layer mask on this also and click and drag it like this but you can see that we decrease the uh, opacity so it is 16 percent like here now you can see oh come on we have to apply on this great now but we have to take care about the settings and other things like a little bit more lies let's have some great very nice okay so the final thing we have to add in this image is will add a light leak so I'm using this light leaks okay so I forgot to tell you that all of the given files which we are using in this tutorial are given in the description bar the link is given in the description bar you can free download these things which I am using in this tutorial and the things which we are using in our every any tutorial you can tutorial you can easily download from the given link in the description bar so let's play press control plus a and hit center one and center one press control D to deselect this press control T and press shift and alt to size it down very nice now we'll press right click and click on flip horizontal very nice now we will pick this up and make the screen color very nice now we don't want to make it so much so we will use a little touch of this light so i will go for this nice great now we have to uh, focus on this line so we we'll press control or we can see that erase so give it a layer mask again I am using layer mask again and again because if I have any error in erasing so I can be step back so without losing my layer or my quality of the layer so let's erase this thing from the hair sorry from here so okay very nice great we have erased this thing now we have to focus on that very nice okay so 
we have finished our tutorial thanks for watching our tutorial please subscribe to our channel and take care and please share this channel to your friends and anyone who want to learn photoshop and on advanced level so i hope our effort is working on you so thank you for watching this tutorial see you in next tutorial take care